5G is ushering in a new era of use cases and customer experiences, changing the game when it comes to network support. Ericsson's Head of Customer Support Offerings, Sabel Bahadir, is here with me today to discuss some of those changes, as well as how Ericsson is working with its customers to address them. Hello, Catherine. Glad to be here today. Sybil, Ericsson is continuously innovating and creating new solutions. What's your source of inspiration for the new solutions? We have two key resources to stimulate and validate innovation. First source is our customers and their customers. We are always trying to be with them, to listen what they want to tell us, and we also listen to things that are not really explicit. And the other key source for us is our own experiences. We are all consumers of the technologies that we innovate. If it's not myself, then it can be my children who can be the greatest users of 4G and 5G. I would like to give an example to this process. During the year of the first 5G launch in Europe, we had an eye-opening experience at a site visit with an automotive factory. A smart manufacturing uh, plant could benefit from dedicated 5G network where the massive robotic arms are connected to the network and to the quality systems and work in an excellent accuracy. Without having thousands of meters of ca cables running in the ceiling and the floor, the, it gives an amazing possibility to have an agile production system. And also imagine the cobots, the collaborative robots who are working aside by the human workforce. They also need mobility. The idea was how to bring agility and speed without sacrificing from the accuracy and the quality. And this case has given Ericsson the idea of service continuity service introduction for the networks which are mobile, which are uninterrupted and ultra speed for the industry 4.0 operations. Those use case examples are very interesting. What are some of the other ways the end user experience has evolved or changed in the 5G era? There are major changes in the end user experience with 5G. The applications of the super speed and ultra reliability have already started. And once we experience it, end users can't go back to the speed and the quality of the older generations. You know, the uninterrupted experience with speed is not needed only by the giant factories or self-driving cars. My teenager son was recently watching YouTube videos such as the Gamer's Guy for Improved Ping. And, you know, the milliseconds doesn't seem like much difference for many of us, but for hard gamers, it can affect your ability to compete in high-paced games. And this is definitely a case where the operators are challenged with this level of expectations on the performance. And our innovations in customer support can help before the end user experience is impacted by the service degradations and or the connectivity problems. If you look at the landscape uh, from the end user perspective, the privacy expectation is also evolving. The end users are demanding secure and protection against the vulnerabilities of the devices and the technologies. And simplicity, the need for the converged and personalized services is critical. As we know, the simpler is the winner. However, all these changes in the end user expectation doesn't make the, the operators, our customers life easier. Right, let's talk about some of those challenges. With these new experiences comes new challenges. So what are some of the operator needs that Ericsson has identified as these operators try to make sure their 5G networks can support some of these, these new experiences? That's very exciting. The emerging use cases are creating amazing opportunities in the areas that the operators have not been active before. In order to be the winner in this race and capture the new revenue stream, operators should address the performance needs of the applications through dedicated network slices or private networks. And they need to operate with predictive and preemptive ways to address the potential capacity degradation or a network outage before it happens. Meanwhile, the networks are transforming to cloud native and the infrastructures are becoming more flexible. However, as the network functions can be deployed in multiple ways on any cloud environment, the operators need to address this great complexity. Soon the radio networks will start running on cloud as well. And the radio networks are becoming more complex to maintain with the traditional trouble handling ways. And speed is never compromised. Operator expects vendors to identify a faulty equipment or a software function remotely even before the operation department is aware, 
so it can be replaced and continue to the normal performance. And other areas, security, sustainability and safety, those are aspects very crucial to the operators as well in order to guarantee success. And how exactly is Ericsson helping operators address these needs? Ericsson is committed to the operator's success in many ways. Today, automation penetrates almost every aspect of operations. Therefore, in our new customer support portfolio, we have injected digitalization and artificial intelligence in any possible way. Firstly, the way that we interact with our customers, operators. Our support services are provided through Omni Network Channel. The operators are able to access the knowledge in a seamless way and able to collaborate globally and level up their customer support experience. And the second important is we address the complexity problem through the network level support offering. With this service, we provide fault isolation for either a software or a hardware element. The faults are not always related to the uh, product design more than 60% of the faults we address today are originated by the surrounding elements of the complex networks. And data-driven ways help locating the issue accurately and troubleshooting of the fault quickly and accelerate the problem resolution from days to hours, even to minutes. And for a higher level of support, we are addressing the needs of Industry 4.0 by service continuity offering. For that, we use Ericsson's network intelligence platform which is designed and developed based on artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. And through a library of the global use cases, we help and commit to our customers on certain KPIs, as such as bandwidth, latency, and speed. And by that, the operators can commit to their own customers like we do for them. For my last question, I want to focus on data-driven technologies. How will operators benefit from new data-driven technologies you've been introducing to customer support? Great question. This is first time a customer support portfolio is served to the operators to help capturing new revenue streams in this way. We have designed our services to combine the skills for repetitive tasks, which are ideal for automation, and also skills for more complex tasks that requires AI and human dexterity for problem solving. As we co-create AI use cases for preemptive operations together with the operators, they will be able to identify and confidently move into the new revenue streams without a major hesitation on cost and also impact on the network performance. An additional benefit is related to the top financial top line. The industries will grow faster and greater, and the operators will be growing together with them by earning new revenues. Last but not the least, the gains from automation will lead to decreased OPEX. As you know, customer support is a human-centered service. There will be always a human interaction in the customer service, but with more penetration of artificial intelligence by time. And by that, the operators will be benefiting from the optimized cost and increased values through our offerings. Our vision is to deliver uninterrupted experience through the cognitive networks, where we don't talk about trouble tickets anymore, but we talk about the business outcomes. And for the race of 5G and user experience, data-driven support is the future. Sybil, thanks for your time and for keeping us in the loop about what Ericsson's been up to lately. Thank you, Catherine. I will invite all the listeners to our .com page or directly contact to us for a deeper conversation of these topics. Thanks for watching.